Magandang araw mga suknayan. Welcome to Sir Ocnick's YouTube channel. In this video, we will find the probability of independent events. But first, let us have a review on the probability of the union of two events. Find the probability of getting a black card or an ace from an ordinary deck of cards. The probability of getting a black card is equal to 26 over 52, while the probability of picking up an ace is equal to 4 over 52. The probability of picking a black card at the same time an ace card is equal to 2 over 52. That means that the probability of picking a black card or an ace card is equal to 26 over 52 plus 4 over 52 minus 2 over 52 which is equal to 28 over 52 or simply 7 over 13. A die is rolled. What is the probability of getting an even or less than 3? The probability of getting an even in rolling a die is equal to 3 over 6, while the probability of picking or getting less a number less than 3 is equal to 2 over 6. The probability of getting an even at the same time a number less than 3 is equal to 1 over 6. Therefore, to find the probability of an even at the same time a, less, a number less than 3 is equal to 3 over 6 plus 2 over 6 minus 1 over 6, which is equal to 4 over 6 or simply 2 thirds. What is the probability that a number selected at random from the first 25 positive integers is an odd or a multiple of 5. The probability of picking an odd number is equal to 13 over 25, while the probability of picking a number that is a multiple of 5 is equal to 5 over 25. The probability of picking an odd number at the same time a multiple of 5 is equal to 3 over 25. Therefore, the probability of picking an odd number or a multiple of 5 is equal to 13 over 25 plus 5 over 25 minus 3 over 25, which is equal to 15 over 25 or simply 3 over 5. Let us now discuss the probability of independent events. Two events may happen at the same time or one after another. Two events are independent if the occurrence of that of the first event does not affect that of the second. If events A and B are independent, the probability of both events occurring is found by multiplying the probabilities of the event. That is, the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of the union of events A and B, which is equal to probability of A times the probability of B. A bag contains four blue balls, three green balls, and six white balls. Two marbles are drawn with replacement. Find the probability that the first ball is blue and the second is white. The probability of picking a blue and a white ball is equal to the probability of picking a blue times the probability of picking a white. The probability of picking a blue ball is equal to 4 over 13 since there are 4 blue balls and there are 13 balls inside the bag. The probability of picking a white ball is equal to 6 over 13. Therefore, the probability is equal to 4 over 13 times 6 over 13 
or simply 24 over 169. A bag contains 5 blue balls, 3 green balls, and 3 white balls. 3 more balls are drawn with replacement. Find the probability that the first ball is blue and the second and third ball is green. Find the probability of picking a blue, green, and a green ball that is equal to the probability of blue times the probability of green times the probability of green. Take note that the word replacement indicates that each ball that is drawn will be returned in the bag. The probability of picking a blue ball is equal to 5 over 11 since there are 5 blue balls and there is a total of 11 balls inside the bag. The probability of picking a green ball is equal to 3 over 11 since there are 3 green balls. Therefore, the probability of the said event is equal to 5 over 11 times 3 over 11 times 3 over 11, which is equal to 45 over 1,331. Find the probability of tossing a pair of dice and getting a 5 on each one. The probability of getting a 5 and a 5 in tossing a pair of die is equal to the probability of picking of getting a 5 times the probability of getting a 5. The probability of getting a 5 in, in tossing a pair of die is equal to 1 over 6. Therefore, the probability of the said event is equal to 1 over 6 times 1 over 6, which is equal to 1 over 36. Find the probability of picking two cards from a regular deck of cards with replacement such that the first card is a heart and the second card is an ace. Take note of the word replacement. That means that before picking the second card, the first card drawn will be returned to the deck of cards. The probability of picking a heart and an ace is equal to the probability of picking a heart times the probability of picking an ace. The probability of picking a heart is equal to 13 over 52, which is equal to 1 fourth, while the probability of picking an ace card is equal to 4 over 52 or simply 1 over 13. Therefore, the probability of the said event is equal to 1 fourth times 1 over 13, which is equal to 1 over 52. From a group of 5 boys and 6 girls, a committee of four is to be formed. What is the probability that the committee will consist of two boys and two girls? We need the concept of combination here. Combination of five taken two at a time will represent the number of ways that the boys can be represented, while combination of six taken two at a time will be the number of ways that the girls can be represented. Now, combination of 11 taken 4 at a time will be the number of ways that a committee of 4 can be represented since there are a total of 11 boys and girls in the given sample space. The probability of picking 2 boys and 2 girls in the said committee is defined as 5C2 times 6C2 all over 11C4. Let us first identify the value of 5C2. 5C2 is equal to 5 factorial all over quantity 5 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial based from the concept of combination. That is equal to 5 factorial all over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. Expanding the numerator, that will give us 5 times 4 times 3 factorial all over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. Cancelling the common factor, which is 3 factorial, we will arrive at 20 over 2 or simply 10.
let us now evaluate 6C2. That is equal to 6 factorial all over 6 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. 6 factorial all over 4 factorial minus 2 factorial. Expanding the numerator, we will get 6 times 5 times 4 factorial all over 4 factorial times 2 factorial. Cancelling the common factor and simplifying the fraction, we will arrive at 30 over 2 or simply 15. Let us now evaluate 11C4. That is, 11 factorial all over 11 minus 4 factorial times 4 factorial or 11 factorial over 7 factorial times 4 factorial. Expanding the numerator, we will arrive at 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial all over 7 factorial times 4 factorial. Cancelling the common factor and, if, and simplifying the numerator and the denominator, we will arrive at 7,920 all over 24, which is equal to 330. Substituting the given values or the results, that will lead us, that will lead us to 10 times 15 all over 330 or simply 150 over 330 or 5 over 11. Let us now summarize what we have discussed in this video. If events A and B are independent, the probability of both events occurring is found by multiplying the probabilities of the event. Therefore, the probability of event A and event B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. Let us now check your knowledge. Do not forget to pause the video while you are answering the following problems. A bag contains 4 blue balls, 3 green balls, and 2 white balls. 3 marbles are drawn with replacement. Find the probability that the balls drawn will be different in colors. In this problem, we are going to solve for the probability of picking a blue, a green, and a white ball. That is equal to the probability of picking a blue times the probability of picking a green times the probability of picking a white card. The probability of getting a blue ball is equal to 4 over 9 while the probability of getting a green ball is equal to 3 over 9, or simply 1 third. The probability of getting a white ball is equal to 2 over 9. To get the probability of the given event, that is equal to 4 over 9 times 1 third times 2 over 9, or simply 8 over 246, which can be simplified as 4 over 123. Find the probability of picking two cards from a regular deck of cards with replacement such that the first card is a black card and the second card is a jack. To get the probability of the given event, that is equal to the probability of getting a black card times the probability of getting a jack card. The probability of picking a black card is equal to 26 over 52 or simply 1 half, while the probability of picking a jack card is equal to 4 over 52 or simply 1 over 13. Using the values, that will be equal to 1 half times 1 over 13 or simply 1 over 26. From a group of 5 boys and 6 girls, a committee of 6 is to be formed. What is the probability that the committee will consist of 3 boys and 3 girls? We need the concept of combination in this problem. 5C3 will represent the 3 boys 
that will join the committee. While 6C3 will represent the number of ways that the girls can be represented in the committee. And 11C6 is the number of ways that a committee of 6 can be represented in the problem. Let us now evaluate first 5C3. That is equal to 5 factorial all over 5 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. Or simply, 5 factorial all over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. Expanding the numerator, we will arrive at 5 times 4 times 3 factorial all over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. Considering the common factor and simplifying the fraction, we will arrive at 20 all over 2 or simply 10. Let us now evaluate 6C3. That is equal to 6 factorial all over 6 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. Which is equal to 6 factorial all over 3 factorial times 3 factorial. The expanded form of the numerator will is the same as 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. Cancelling the common factor which is 3 factorial and simplifying the fraction, we will arrive at 120 divided by 6 or simply 20. Let us now evaluate 11C6. That is equal to 11 factorial all over 11 minus 6 factorial which is equal to 5 factorial times 6 factorial. Expanding the numerator, we will arrive at 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial all over 6 factorial times 5 factorial. Considering the common factor which is 6 factorial, we will arrive at 55,440 all over 120 or equals 462. Since we now have the values of 5C3, 6C3, and 11C6, let us now substitute it in our formula. That is equal to 10 times 20 all over 462, or simply 300 over 462, which is also equal to 50 over 77. Thank you for watching Sir Optics YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math.